It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's up? What's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day out. The sun is beaming. Got my skin glowing. My hair absorbing these gamma rays. Soaking it up. You know what I'm saying? Soaking up this superpower. Man, it's beautiful out. Look at the trees. Just look. It's beautiful. It's beautiful out today. <sighs> Ivy, get your butt out of there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, maybe a beach day today. Might be a beach day today. You know, maybe. Go put my toes in the water. I got my toes in the water, hands in the sand. Cold out of burr in the world, a cold beer in my hand. Something like that. So, yeah, man. Just living a life. A day in the life. What's new on the agenda? What's new about life? What's new with y'all? I'm just taking a day at a time, you know. The world is changing so much, it's crazy. Every day you wake up, turn on the news, is a different sad story. But not shocking. Nothing's too much shocking anymore these days. That's the sad thing about it. Man. So, with that being said, I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Hope everybody is, you know really taking this time of change to reflect on, you know, starting afresh. I tell, tell people, look, man, look at this time as a, a restart. You know, especially if you're blessed enough to get some unemployment, you may be in a better position than you ever been in right now, financial-wise. Unfortunately, sad to say, but make sure you take advantage of it. Don't go, don't go blow the money back with the people who are giving it to you, you know. Invest in yourself, you know. Flip some of that. Start, start, start. Just start a business. Start with a simple step of just getting you an LLC. Start there first. Just start there, get your LLC. That's step one. That costs you a couple dollars, not much, you know. Not much. You can do that. So in that way, you start learning how to pay yourself. Because if this thing keep going the way it is, some of y'all not going back to work. Okay? Some of y'all not going back to work. Some of y'all going to get laid off. Some of y'all going to get fired. Uh, some of y'all jobs are going to we're gonna say, nah, we gotta let, let y'all go. We gotta let y'all go. Now what? Hey. You know? Now what? I'm telling you, man. Become independent. Become independent. That's the only way you're going to survive in, this, in this, this economy, in this world, man. Become independent. Pay yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you just go up and quit your job. Some of y'all got good, good jobs. I make pretty good money. And you still be claiming that you broke. You still be saying, I don't have no money. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't. It's because you're not, you're not using their money to become independent. You know? You got a, a, a nine to five that's stable, and you got a little extra pocket change coming in. You know you can start making that transition to become independent. Because when they done with you, they done with you. Trust me. I hate corporate America. I milk corporate America for all I could when I was out there. And I tell you all the time, I never go back to corporate America. Corporate America get me back. We gotta have a big bag. It's a scam. It's a scam. How, how, 
How do people, perfect example. I was, uh, I met a CEO of a very um, successful company when I worked there. I'm not gonna say the name of the company. I made a couple of dollars working there. Not as much as I should have. But I met the CEO one day, right? Yeah, average guy. I can do his job. But what shocked me the most was the amount of money I was making and the amount of money he was making. Within one year, I made that company about a hundred thousand dollars one year. I made them about a hundred bands. I didn't make that much. They didn't. I didn't make that much. I made that for them. But when I realized the CEO's salary was thirteen million, not including bonuses, what you think that did to my my ego? I just put thirteen million in this man's pocket. And I gotta cry for a day off? You tell me when to go to lunch? You write me up if I'm a minute late? I want holidays off, I can't have a holiday with my family? But I just put 13 million in this man's pocket? It's backwards. And then one day they come to you and say, ah, unfortunately, uh, we don't need you anymore. What? Yeah, we don't need you no more. Clear your desk. Better see you on the private jet. He's, he's, he's spending your family dinner money on his fuel for his jet. He's looking down on the peons that are working for him that have just paid for his family's 14-day cruise. You pay for that. Yeah. You pay for that. Punching in every day on time. 8 o'clock, 8.30. Taking them 30-minute lunch breaks. Rushing to get back. You can't even enjoy a, a lunch break. You can't even go down to your local uh, Applebee's. <laughs> get your two for 20 with your coworker. You know. You can't do none of that because you got 30 minutes. But what, what, what fun is that? What part of the game is that? I learned that the hard way. By getting fired. By somebody who was less qualified than me. Who had a Napoleon complex. And wasn't man enough to talk out his problems he had with me. So he went to HR and lied on me. Falsified documents and got me fired. That's when I realized I got to get out of corporate America before I blow somebody's house up. Because if you come for my house, I got to come for your house, right? It's only fair, right? Corporate America don't work like that. I can't play those type of games with people. So I realized, you know what? Before I end up going to prison for some corporate America BS, because they don't play like we play out here in the streets, and they don't play like real people play, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. They don't play by that code. It's a dirty game. I'm about it. But is it worth it? So how, how can I make sure that don't happen to me ever again? I gotta start my own. Kai Costa CBD. Partnering up with my man Superman. Super Barbecue. Been partnered up with man Superman, Cold Squad ENT. This is just a, a couple to, to 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 start, you know. We got some other things on the way. Fully independent. That's that's the new wave, man. That y'all need to get on, man. Stop blowing y'all money on BS, man. Invest in yourself. Because I'm telling you, these corporate jobs, and y'all, y'all, y'all know. A lot of y'all know. There's a whole lot of PlayStations on offer up once that pandemic hit because people needed money. They jobs kicked them to the curb. The jobs said, man, we don't care nothing about you. Get out. Now you got to sell your kid PlayStation because the job don't care nothing about you. 
But if you're independent, you pay yourself. You know how to make the money come. You know what you need to do. Every business gonna take that two, that two month hard hit throughout the year. You gonna have that slump. That's just business. Nobody prepared for four, five months, six months slump. Nobody prepared for that. But if you're a real hustler and you've been putting the work in and you got good product, you're gonna be alright. You gotta scale back a little bit. You know, roll with the time, scale back a little bit, chill out a little bit. But you're gonna be alright. You you still ain't gonna be relying on the job to call you and say, come back in, we need you. They don't need you. Trust me. They don't need you. They use you. So with that being said, thank y'all for listening to the rant. Whoever well, listened to it. But I said again, and I'll continue to say it today I die. I hate corporate America. F corporate America. Bunch of scam artists. Hope all y'all go bankrupt. Get the people what you owe them. Pay the people what you owe them. They're making y'all rich. You don't care nothing about them or their families. Y'all need to learn this. Get out of corporate America. Independent. Only way to go. Kaya Costa CBD.